Hey, this is Mr. Weaver, and this is Unit 2, Lesson 7 of our Ratios and Proportions Unit. And this lesson is called Comparing Relationships with Tables. After this lesson, you need to be able to decide if a relationship represented by a table could be proportional and when it is definitely not proportional. You'll know you're successful after this lesson if you can determine if a table shows a proportional relationship or not. So how can you tell if a table shows a proportional relationship? Well, if you remember back a few lessons, part of our definition of proportional relationship was that it had an equivalent ratio every single time. So we had the boxes of granola bars, one box of granola bars had six granola bars. Two boxes had 12. Three boxes had 18. Four boxes would have 24. Every single time it had the same ratio. So that's what we're going to need to check to tell if something is proportional or not. If it has the same ratio every time, it's proportional. If it doesn't have the same ratio, it's not proportional. Okay, And we learned that that ratio was called the constant of proportionality. At the store, you can buy one box of 12 pens for $2.64, or a larger box of 18 pens for $3.96, or a single pen for $0.22, cents, or a giant box of 200 for $44. Is the amount of pens proportional to the price? So I put all of my values in tables. So 12 pens was $2.64, 18 $3.96, and so on. I need to figure out is my number of pens proportional to my price? So we're gonna check to see is the cost per pen the same? Okay, the cost per pen is our constant of proportionality. If that ratio, that constant of proportionality is the same every time, we're good. I'm gonna find my constant of proportionality by dividing my price by how many pens I would get. So 264 divided by 12 pens would mean that it costs 22 cents per pen. If I check the next one, $3.96 for 18 pens, divide that out, I also get 22 cents per pen. Now, we might think right away, hey, this is showing proportional, but remember, it has to be true for every single time. I've seen it before where they try to throw something in there at the very end that makes it not proportional. So you need to check every row. 22 cents for one, 22 cents. Okay, last one we gotta check. $44 for 200. Is 44 divided by 200 22 cents? Yes. It is the same constant of proportionality in every row, which means we could write the equation that the cost is equal to 22 cents times how many ever pens. C equals 0.22P. Because it's the same in every row, that makes it proportional. It shows a proportional relationship. Let's look at a different example. So here's a common occurrence at the grocery store. A regular size 7.75 ounce bag of chips costs $3.59. A family size for 10 ounces costs $3.99, while the party size of 13 ounces is $4.79. Is the cost proportional to the size and weight of the bag? So if we put it in a table for us to tell a little easier, I paired my weight with the cost. I want to figure out my constant of proportionality, which is going to be how much does it cost per ounce. And then remember, in order for it to be a proportional relationship, our ratio is always equivalent. So our constant of proportionality is always the same. So if I check the first one, 359 divided that by 7.75, I end up with 
0.463. So it's about 46 cents per ounce. If I check the next one, 399 for 10 ounces, that comes out to be 39.9 cents per ounce, 0.399. Just based on seeing these two things and the fact that they are not the same tells me right away that this cannot be proportional. If I were to check the last one, 0.368, again, it's not the same constant of proportionality. This is not showing a proportional relationship. They have different constants of proportionality. It is not proportional. Finally, let's look at a slightly different example. If you go to a game at the soccer stadium, it costs you $10 to park plus $25 per person for tickets. Is this proportional between the number of people that go and the price? So if one person goes, it's going to cost them $10 to park plus $25 to get in which means it's going to cost them $35 total. If I divide that out to get my cost per person, my constant of proportionality, it would be $35 per person. I would have to multiply by 35. Well, what if two people went? They would still have to pay $10 to park, and then two tickets would now cost them $50, but in total, that is $60. Does that come out to have the same constant of proportionality as the first one? So 60 divided by 2 is 30. Now, just like before, I can tell right now that this is not a proportional situation because they are not the same cost per person. It's not the same constant of proportionality. I could confirm this even more. If five people went, it would be $10 to park, $125 for tickets. It would be $135 total, which comes out to be 27. And again, they are different constants of proportionality. Okay, that is not proportional. If we had tried to write an equation out of this situation, my cost would be $25 per person plus that extra 10 for parking. That extra $10 is what makes it not proportional. Had parking been free, and so we were able to get rid of that plus 10, that extra 10, then we would have a proportional situation. But since we have that extra amount added to our total each time, it is no longer a proportional situation. In this lesson, we learned how to figure out if situations are proportional or not. So here we have two smoothie shops, smoothie shop A and smoothie shop B. If we were to calculate the dollars per ounce of each smoothie shop, we can see that in A, each time the price per ounce is the same. It's 75 cents per ounce no matter what size you buy. That tells us that it's a proportional relationship. We could write an equation out of it saying that the price would be equal to 75 cents times the size, times the number of ounces. Okay. If we look at smoothie shop B, though, it is not proportional. We can tell this because in our dollars per ounce column, which shows our constants of proportionality, they are not the same every single time. The first one costs 75 cents per ounce. The second one costs 67 cents per ounce. The largest size costs 62.5 cents per ounce. So it's actually getting cheaper the larger size that you buy. Okay, similar to what we saw when we were doing the potato chips. If we wanted to come up with an equation for S based on whatever smoothie size we had, we can't come up with an equation and then we can't predict the price because it's not proportional. So we don't know what it would end up being. Okay, If you cannot write it in the equation of y equals kx or in that format, it is not proportional.
after this lesson, do you now know how to determine if a table shows a proportional relationship or not? If you're not confident with this, go back and look at the example, the one that shows that yes, it's a proportional and the next one where you can see that it is not proportional and focus on how you can tell the difference between the two. And that's the end of lesson seven where we were determining if tables show a proportional relationship or not.